Hey, so let's take a look at the March, April, 1994 edition of Barbie Bazaar. Barbie Bazaar is a magazine for Mattel products like Barbie. Um, and hopefully I will figure out the best way to do this because right now the tripod is bouncing. And uh, I know there's a good way to do this because I've seen people do it. And I don't know what it's gonna take to make it a good way. But let's enjoy the magazines while we can. And maybe next year, if, uh, if I get it all perfected and stuff, I can do it better next year. I'm also trying to figure out how to do voiceovers, which won't work for me with videos, because what's the point? I can do it while I'm doing the videos. But if I had a digital version of this, I can do it maybe. Unfortunately, I've never found any digital versions of Barbie Bazaar, like on archive.org. Never saw them on there. Um, they have some Barbie comic books on there, but I like the actual physical, you know, Barbies and... I have all the magazines pretty much. Um, so let's take a look at what's on the inside of this magazine. I'm going to do a flip through with you. And I know that some of you are probably more into the Freely Dawes or the um, and, uh, vintage ones. I keep wanting to say antique ones, sorry. And here I'm shaking the thing. Um, I'm not into that. So uh, I know that you might want to see somebody doing a slower review of these and not so much the fun stuff. That's great. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I just... I'll try to do a little bit more of it as I can, um, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm just not into it that much. And I'm enjoying this magazine and I hope you're enjoying it too. So we have the table of contents. We have bosom buddies. Hmm. So it's men dressed like women to get into a cheaper place for people to live. That's interesting. A day with Janet. I'm just looking over the different titles here. All right, now this is 1984, and this is before I got back into do uh, yeah, fashion dolls. I mean, I got out of it around 81, 82, and then I got back into it. Well, I know that Teen Skipper says 1995, but I don't think she was actually in the store until 97. So 94 is before my times, but there's probably some good stuff in here. I mean, whenever I started getting back into it, there was still 94 stuff on the shelf. A lot of the beach dolls, and then thanks to eBay, I went back and got some of the stuff from the 90s that I didn't get the first time. The only thing I bought between 81 and 97, I want to say, was the Beach Blast Barbie from 1989. Fantastic doll. Ski Fun and MC Hammer? What? Okay, yeah, I definitely get MC Hammer later. I like MC Hammer. This looks like a lot of fun, but... Buzz and Buddies. So which one's Skip and Henry? I love her red hair, that's really nice. And the colors are just amazing, they just pop. It is really windy out here today, so. And it's supposed to rain later on, so hey. I wanted to get out and get some sunlight today because it is beautiful out here. <laughs> some really beautiful fashion dolls all around. I love that outfit. I actually got it for five dollars at one of those doll shows one time. Doll shows, I'm like, eh, there's not much here I really like. I mean, it's a lot of baby dolls and porcelain dolls. So it wasn't a fashion doll show. It was just a doll show that I went to one time. I ended up picking up that, though. I do remember that very clearly. I wish I could pick up the whole doll. That, that I love PJ, even though that's not the particular face of PJ that I like. It does look like a fun doll, though. I'd really like to have made to move, like all the made to move. What do they call? They're not made to move. They were the first ones like that, though, the made to move type bodies. A quirk fate led to Barbie. 1987, so you could have a Cabbage Patch doll for Christmas. So this dude got a Cabbage Patch doll and started getting to Barbies. Got a lot of vintage stuff. Bugs go away. A moving experience. I'm talking about how to pack your dolls up. How to pack them up when you're moving from one place to another, I guess. <sighs> yeah, I'm not that fancy with them. God, the bugs are out like crazy right now. All right, 93 Walt Disney World teddy bear and doll convention. So this was, a lot of this magazine is actually gonna be from 93 since it's the beginning of 94. And you know, they, they have to get it to the press. So everything in here is probably technically be from 93, except for like what's coming in 94 kind of stuff. A 
date with Janet. Isn't Janet one of the friends of Stacy? Was Stacy Janet? I think it was the redheaded girl, uh, Stacy's friend. I like interplanet Janet. She's a galaxy girl. Comes to us from some future world. Oh, now this is cool. A gallery of Barbie art. That's really groovy. I love the shagadelic colors. Yeah, baby, yeah. Smash. Uh, what is that face? Hmm. There's a Santa. Okay, so the first page was a lot more interesting in my opinion. Then we got hot vinyl reissues and Hollywood legends. Some of the new Barbies in 94. So here's what's coming out in 94. So write down the things you want to get when it comes out in 94. So, oh, Scarlett O'Hara. My mom has that one. Not something I'm interested in personally. Oh, I would love to have that skipper. Because you have a vintage skipper that's in modern day, like, in other words, plastic deteriorates every year. This has less time to deteriorate, I guess you could say. That would be a fantastic one. I would, I just love the vintage skipper. I think she's pretty. <clears throat> okay, I, I did have this. I think I saw that suit. I had this one. I love the dolls of the world. Especially the ones from the more... How do I say it? The less European countries, I guess. I would have liked to have had that one, but man, I could not afford it. That one was like one of those, just like twice the price ones or something. Fru fru, not for me, but hey, some of y'all might like that stuff right there. I can no longer see the screen because it is so sunny out here. It was cloudy when I came out. Um. Now, I don't know which one I have, but I do have one of those cans. Unfortunately, everything about, like, his whole body got sticky over time. And his face, you can't really put on one of the other modern kin's bodies. I mean, you could take probably any Barbie head and put it on a modern Barbie body, but you just can't do that with Ken. There's a bird flying overhead and I saw the reflection on the, the camera. I was like, whoa. <laughs> All right, so let me see. Am I, is this in range? God, I gotta keep covering it up. Mattel test recycling, recyclable fashion doll packaging. So I guess I should put this out April 20th for um, Earth Day. Recyclable fashion doll packaging. Don't they always do that? What did they do before? Put it on like plastic? I don't know. Mm. I have no idea. Skipper and Courtney High School. Glitter Beach Fashions. Oh, I had those pants. Those are really cool. And they have some uh, chit chat chit. Oh, I was asking somebody, um, so the Malibu Barbies, were they called Malibu Barbies in other countries? Because I remember seeing in one of my books that there was Rio de Janeiro Barbie and, you know, cause like Malibu in, in France, for instance, what would you, they're like, what's Malibu? You know, that's their beach line. Malibu's a beach. You know, I don't know. I don't know what they call them in other countries. I don't know if it's localized or if it's just whatever. All right. So in New England, which is not England, it's New England. This guy looks like he's miserable. Like, mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't recognize any of these people. Hey, so somebody might be on here that's one of these pictures. So if your name is Donna, I can't pronounce the last name, Lee Hawthorne, Elizabeth Heiss, Vice President. That's an unusual name. Lee, oh, I'm reading the same thing again. Front row, if your name's front row, left to right, Ivanez Perez. Dean Little, uh, okay, I forget it. I'm just gonna butcher names if I, if I try. Hey, if you're in this, let me know. 
Wouldn't it be funny if somebody did like a flip through of, here's my yearbook. <laughs> like, uh, I don't think many people would really care about somebody's yearbook. I could do that, but that'd be really boring. I mean, I, I guess if you put it on like a website, if you had a really high, high blah, 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 a large school, yeah, I went to a very small school. Because it was, back then, we didn't have a big school. Miss Mississippi, that sounds redundant, doesn't it? Miss Mississippi. Miss Mississippi. I would love to have a supersized Barbie and with a supersized burger and a supersized fries. I would love to have a supersized superstar Barbie and I want the Christie versions too. Wouldn't it be cool if they made other versions like like uh, Kira and Teresa? Now I did have, I still have Pocahontas, the supersized Pocahontas. Same body, just Pocahontas' head. And I put her on with some kind of uh, Tonner body just because I wanted to have articulation. Her head, uh, the neck knob was too big. Look at these, I like these fashions. Wish I could just have these fashions and... Oh, they go on the super size doll, wow. I thought, that, okay, so I thought this was just, at first then I was like, wait a minute, that does not look like superstar Barbie, it's more like super size Barbie. So they actually made super size fashions. I am very surprised. Because I just, you never see them. You just never see them in the wild. Man, those are all beautiful. <laughs> so I wonder if he made some of these like that. I don't know if they actually made the, uh, the vintage black and white swimsuit. Yeah, all of them except for the bottom picture is in frame. And now we're gonna be going to the ads. I wish I could fast forward. Thankfully, nobody's calling me. It's a Saturday when I'm doing this video. So we get less calls. Yesterday, I got nonstop freaking calls. All right, so let's see. We got Bendable Leg Allen. That's one of the first ones that caught my eye. Although that yellow hair, man, that is some eye popping color right there. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so if you have a redheaded skipper and you just don't want it, I'll be glad to take it. I love that red hair on her. I love red hair, period. It's probably why Alan's my favorite from the vintage guys. And then I like Midge, but her face looks so squinty. I don't know. It's so short. Bendable like Francie's pretty. I wouldn't mind having all these. Although I have some of them repros and stuff. I see what's on this page. Am I in frame for the top part? Oops. All right. Oh, I would love to have the Barbie in Japan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, no thanks. This is cool. I like to have this outfit set. Um, I'm not much into vintage fashions, especially the ones for like, I don't know. It's like I dream of genie kind of. Yeah, I see what, okay. I used to really want that one for some reason. I wanted to do the can-can dance in some, uh, you know, bar. Of course, I want Japanese Barbie because I like kimonos. Hmm, Peruvian Barbie. That looks very pretty. Why do they stop making Barbies of the world or do they still make them? I don't know. The modern stuff is just meh. And then when they make ones that look pretty good, it's like their bodies are so weird. It's like, oh, they finally made articulated bodies, like those new um, $25 bodies, dolls. Their bodies just feel like they're hollow for some reason. It's hard to explain. I don't exactly know how to say it. It's just, they don't feel right. Malaysian Barbie's pretty. I think I've seen her before. Nigerian Barbie's pretty. I like her. Uh, Korean Barbie's outfit's okay. Which one's your favorite one on this page? And then we got Medivani. Uh, I don't know anything about it. Uh oh, here we go. So, oh, there's that fashion again where they're uh, she's wearing the school bus for the Partridge family. 
So I guess this is uh, last year's models and this is this year's models because I've seen these before in a previous book I did. They look almost like they're made out of clay, like a totally different material than plastic or whatever. I have no idea. I guess they're like, I, I have never seen any of these in real life. Has anybody ever actually had these or seen these? What's so special about them? Are they made in clay? Or made out of something completely different? Like, uh, what are those called? The ceramic dolls? I still like the school bus right there. The Partridge Family Bus. And it's like we're toward the end. Oh, I like those. Those look pretty cool. And then Marlin B. And that is it for another one of our magazines. So what did you like the most out of this? I would have to say I didn't have a lot of this. I, you know, I didn't start collecting into, again until like probably 97. Whenever Teen Skipper came out, because I was like, man, I just she's so impressive. I mean, the clothing, everything about her is just amazing. Um, so that's, and then the only thing I collected between like 81 and probably 97 was the Beach Blast Barbie. And I got her secondhand at a flea market. And I think I overpaid because $8 is more expensive than, than even beach dolls are now. But she was worth it. All right. Well, y'all have a great day. Uh, again, let me know if there's any way I can do better on this. Um, I, this table I use a lot, and I fold it up and I stick it in the back of my car because it fits perfectly. So I don't mind if I actually make a little hole in here and put like one of these table lamps. Or wait, I think they do clamps for those. And use the, the arm to go all the way up and stuff. And then maybe it'll lay flat so it'll be more square so you want to be looking at an angle. And get everything into frame. I don't know. I'm going to work on that. Uh, I'm definitely not going to yard sales today. Or go right yard sales. We don't have yard sales at the beach. We have lots and lots of thrift stores. Um, well, I wish there was more, but a friend of mine wants to go out and look at thrift stores. Uh, he's been really busy. He's he's trying to get his law degree, but we're gonna go to thrift stores. Oh, I forgot what he said, either Monday or Friday. Hopefully Monday. I need to call him back and let him know. Oh, I did leave an April Fool's joke because it's April 1st today when I'm making this. So I need to find out if he's gonna respond. I said, I'm moving somewhere in any way and see if he responds. Um, so yeah, we want to go out thrift shopping. I'll try to, I need to make a list, get one of those. It's one of the, one of the ones that have like, like little arms that you always see them sitting like this because nobody, I don't know why they go so far up, but you can make them go up. And I guess it's so like you can shine right on the other side of the room. But if I get the armature for it, I don't even need the lamp. I just, I could probably hook a clamp to it and then like fuse it to it. And then I can clamp the phone and do it like that. So what do you think? I mean, how do you guys do this? Is there anybody else who actually makes videos of magazines? I enjoy looking at magazines. And one time I was just enjoying one. And on a day, I was kind of sick. And I just want to get some sunshine. And boom, I suddenly got thousands of views. I was like, what? I did not know people would actually. I was like, I, I was even like, yeah, I was still so sick that day. But I was surprised people enjoy it. And I do enjoy looking at old magazines again and again. I have quite a lot of them. I have a lot of video game ones, which was another popular one, but I, it's in one of the crates in the building. I only have a few that are not in the crates. So anyway, let me know what you want to see. Um, more of this, the action figure ones, etc. And tell me how to do a better job. It's really windy. Things are blowing off all over the place. All right. Y'all have a great day. Bye.